Yes, my people, damn. CFC, Rillis Blue, back with another video. Chelsea news update settings. The international break is over. Premier League returns this weekend, and we have the early kickoff. Make sure to check out the match preview, which will be uploaded tomorrow for the Chelsea and Leicester game. But we have to go through the news that's come out. Maresca had his press conference early, and this is what he had to say on Reese James. Look at this, man. It is his hamstring with Reese, so a muscle problem. We don't want to take any risk with this weekend, so hopefully it's not something long. Reese James, another hamstring injury, man. So jarring. The amount of games that this guy has ever missed for Chelsea due to these hamstring issues, and he's now had surgery. I was under the, or well, I was under the hope of believing that Reese, after having surgery, he wouldn't have any injuries but he got injured after during his suspension earlier in the season and now this is another injury this is now twice he's been injured since getting um since having his surgery and what do we have to say what do we have to say it's just jarring like so many people going to be going through should we sell Reese James should we keep him all of the above and there's going to be people that are entitled to say these things because Reese James hasn't played consecutive games for Chelsea since the 21-22 season. Since then, he's just been injury prone and now it's three seasons in. Three seasons in, man. And what are we going to do? This is the guy who is our captain, but he's hardly ever on the pitch. Ever since he's been named captain, he hasn't been on the pitch most of the time. And it's just jarring because man will sit here and say that he's the best right back in the world on his day when he's fully fit. But he hasn't even been fully fit. If I look into how Maresca has done his thing so far this season, playing Gusto as a um as the inverted fullback, pushing up. If this was Reese James at his at, at the height of his of his um full blown potential, he could do that role. But I was under the impression that he can't do that role right now because he's not 100%. And clearly he isn't 100%. He got injured during training. There wasn't any games during this week. And it's just another small hamstring injury. I hope it's not something long, as Maresca has stated. But whenever Reese James has been injured, when has it not been long? When has it not been more than a month? When has it been just a week or a couple of weeks? I don't know. And I hope that man's proved wrong because I'm under the impression now that he ain't going to be fit for a lot of these December period, like these, the November, December period. I don't think he'll be available for a lot of it. I hope I'm wrong. And I just hope that he be able to return and complete the majority of the season because if Reese James doesn't complete the majority of the season, then he can't be our starting right back anymore. He can't. He can't. This this season is his last chance because we got guys like Malo Gusto and we got Josh Akumpong. Like we got so many guys that we could go out and buy as a right back alternative. Like for me, I want Reese James to succeed here. I want him to do the utmost. But if I'm gonna be honest, the likelihood of that happening is unlikely due to the amount of injuries that he has had and then more persistent injuries with his hamstring. It's just jarring, but. We're going to have to just wait and see. I'm going to be hopeful, even though I'm not as hopeful as I was at the start of the season. And as much the season goes on longer without Reese, then it's going to be non-negotiable that he can't be a right back. If I'm just going to be honest. So that's just my thoughts and opinions on Reese James and his new injury. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. But now we're going to move on to a next topic. And this is on... Dodi Petrovic. So look at this now. So, the door has been left open for Dodi Petrovic to return from his loan spell at partner club Strasbourg in Ligue 1. He has excelled in France and fought his way into pole position to become his national team starting goalkeeper for the first time. Big you up, man. Big you up, Dodi Petrovic. Big you up for doing your thing for Strasbourg and for the Serbian national team. I saw during the international break that you were starting a lot of their games and you've been starting a lot. You kept clean sheets as well. And personally speaking, 
I am just someone that really wanted you to be our goalkeeper going into the season. I wasn't going to be sitting here and saying that I want Robert Sanchez to be our number one. You took the number one spot last season. You deserve to be the number one, in my opinion. But due to Maresca's style of play, like, I don't think you'll ever be our number one. Because if this was the case and you've excelled on in Strasbourg and whatnot, why aren't you here? It's not like we're gonna call we're gonna recall you mid season in January to be like, yep, he's gonna come be our number one. It's not gonna happen because the board have been persistent in backing Robert Sanchez. Numerous amount of videos are on that, numerous amount of reports are on that. And Ezra Resco has been backing him up. If if we were going to allow him Dory Petrovich to come back and be our number two, then he never should have been loaned out in the first place. We never should have bought Philip Jorgensen in in the first place, if I'm just going to be honest. And that's just my thoughts and opinions on this because I'm very, I'm very glad and very grateful that Petrovic is doing what he's doing in Strasbourg and what he done for Chelsea last season. But this board, you guys are not really making too much sense because we've been backing um, Sanchez even with his so many mistakes. But now we're going to be saying they're going to give... Um, a position to to um Dodi Petrovic due to how he's been playing for Strasbourg. Why did you let him go in the first place? We saw what he was doing last season. He was much better than Robert Sanchez. So why are we putting ourselves through this to bring him back and then going to be able to sell Jorgensen or something like that because someone's going to be... There's just going to be a waste of transfers here. And that's just the realness of it because we're just wasting here. We've signed so many keepers, but now we're here saying, literally... These reports are saying that, oh, he could come back. This was re reported by Kieran, um, Kieran Gill as well, by the way. But, um, yeah, man, this kind of news, I'll be happy if he does return, but it doesn't really make too much sense for me. But I want you guys to let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you think Dodi Petrovic will return? Should we give him another chance? Let me know down below. Now we're going to move on to the final topic, and this is in regards to Chelsea and first-team recruitment. So, just look at this now. So, all of Chelsea's first team recruiting, recruiters met up earlier this month with the purpose of this scouting summit being to ensure everyone is aligned on the club's vision. Enzo Maresco popped in, posing for a group picture with the 30 or so employees. It is said, those in the room left infused, infused, energised, and as motivated as ever to go find the greatest gems making their way into the game. It also follows up this, saying that there is a pool full of potential for those willing to take the time to look and to quote one of Chelsea's new scouts in Goa. Their goal is to make Africa blue. So the board, we've already known what they've been wanting to do ever since they've taken over in 2022. They want to sign the best young talents hence why we signed guys like Kendry Pies, Estavio William all of Chelsea's gems Cole Palmer's like all of these guys fit the bill for being under the age of 25 the future gems of the world that's going to take over football this is literally what their plan and their vision was and can't lie it's working off well like you can talk about the young talents here at Chelsea but you can also talk about Andre Santos who's on loan at Strasbourg, Dodi Petrovic, who we literally just spoke about on loan at Strasbourg, Stavio William for Palmeiras, you got Kendry Paz for Independiente, like you got so many young talents in this world. You even got Tyreek George, who's at Chelsea right now. Like we got so many young talents. So I am with this vision because this is the best chance I believe that we will ever have of being able to create a talent that can go out and win the Ballon d'Or or just have a Ballon d'Or worthy level of um of a player and we're going to have to develop him because right now Chelsea are not in the Champions League are not competing for the biggest prizes in the world so the real so the realness of it is that we're not going to be able to sign a Ballon d'Or level talent who's in the prime right now if we're just going to be honest our best ri our best option is to sign a young talent wherever they are in this world and try to bring them up to make them a Ballon d'Or worthy player or just 
be a player that can take Chelsea back to where he was, competing for the biggest and best honours in the world. So I'm all for that. And whether we find them in Africa or anywhere, South America, I'm willing to bring, I would want us to bring all of these talents in as long as it makes sense. The best, the best players will always be able to shine the brightest. And that's all I want at Chelsea, the best players. Every player has their value and every player gives something to the team. And as long as the players do their part and allow Chelsea to go back to where we need to be, competing for the Champions League, the Premier League, and hopefully having players that can compete for the Ballon d'Or, that would be brilliant. But yeah, man, that's just all of the news that I'm going to report on today in regards to Chelsea recruitment, as well as Dodi Petrovic potentially returning to Chelsea and Reese James being out of the Leicester match and how long will he be out for? I'm not 100% certain, but Maresca said it shouldn't be long, so we'll just have to wait and see on that. But other than that, thank you for your support on the content. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. And yeah, my people, them, I'll catch you tomorrow for the Chelsea vs Leicester preview. In a bit, my people, them, peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.